like to do as financial aid in the future is to get you folks to think about the end game. What, do you, what, what kind of loan debt do you want to have in your student loans by the time you end your career and not just be taking student loans year by year? One of the big issues with student loans, student loans, if you default on them, the federal government has all kinds of power. That job that you had to think you were getting $63,000 a year, well, they have the capability of going here and taking some of that $63,000 a year if you don't pay them. Student loans, we say you have to be very, very unsmart to default on a student loan. There are all kinds of provisions for if you uh, are in economic hardship, if you don't have a job, all kinds of deferments, all kinds of forbearances you can get on the student loan. There is never, ever, ever, ever any excuse for anything else away from this, this session. If you have student loans, just remember, Brian Scott says, there's never any reason for me to default on my student loan. When the student loan people call you, you talk to them. You call them and say, hey, look, I'm having trouble finding a job. What can I do? They'll put you in some sort of program so you don't have to pay right now. So don't ever, 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 there's no reason for you to default on your student loans. But what we want to get your classmates to do, like we said before, is start thinking about uh, those people going on to graduate college. How much debt do you want to have at the end of your graduate career? When you start going looking for a job, you want to know how much debt, I'm out of school now, do I want to end up with $120,000 worth of debt? Do I want to have $100,000 worth of debt? Is, is the degree that I'm trying to get worth $200,000 for four years? Or can I do, can I use some other kind of plan and only spend $80,000 for that same degree? So those are the choices we want to start helping students make in their education. Mm -hmm.